So we found out how to make questions that can be answered with a yes or no. In this section, we're going to go over time. The word for what is stong. The word is actually the root tong with an S prefix. If we put chin, time prefix on the root word, we get chin tong, when, or literally what time. Since it's based on the same root word as stong, the word chin tong is used in a similar way, just as stong can be neat. Just as stong can mean something as well as what. Chintang can mean sometime as well as when. The word chintang is usually followed by um, the root word i, just as stong is, but it's not required. And you can also, for questions, use ooch or i. And they're both the same, they both can be used. When? Chintang. Chintang. Uh, when do you go? Chintang ai chin xia. Chintang ai chin xia. Another way of saying it without the ai? Chintang chin xia. Chintang chin xia. When will you go? When are you going to go? Chintang cha ai chin xia. And when did you go? Chintang ya ai kuin xia. Chintang. Yeah, I agree. For all these questions, some event happens or will happen. The model is you go. Even in events with the models you go. Notice that the subject of the event is indicated with the possessive pronoun, and also the event requires the s prefix when it is uh, when it has the possessive pronoun. So let's read over this. Chintang chi in xia. Chintang chi and xia ai, or hai, sorry. Chintang chi and xia. Chintang chi xia. Chintang chi xia. The event is always preceded by an article. That article is chi and is usually often, um, usually used if the event is in the present or future. You can use qua or qui if the event is in the past. The time prefix chin, chin tang can be found on the names of the seasons and most of the names of the month. Here is a list of words to indicate a time, such as chin tan or chin yilin, time to eat. Some of the months and seasons have more than one name. These different names refer to different aspects of the time of the year. There is no special word for fall season in Kualum. Let's go back. Maybe we can listen to the recording. January. How is Jan? How is Jan? February. At a height. At a height. Okay, March. Hot height. Hot height. April. Ten mile. Ten mile. May. Tin Lilo. Tin Lilo. June. Tin Quitsin. Tin Quitsin. July. Tin Katchis. Tin Katchis. August. Tin Taka. Tin Taka. September. Tin Lamo. Tin Lamo. October. Scope. November. Chin Hartman. Chin Hartman. December. Hapstianum. Hapstianum. Springtime. Chin Schools. Chin Schools. Summertime. Tine. Tine. Winter. Chin Sutch. Chin Sutch. Chin Sutch. Now we'll go over our Kwanawi. Chintang ya ai kwenz tuk. Second method for asking about time. There, um, it's what time you go.
and we can listen to our model for, let me see. For the third part in this lesson, asking about time of day. In Qualm, there are two words that we can translate as when. They differ in what time period the question is about. The first, chintang, is used to ask when, about seasons, months, and days in the past or future. The second one, a queen, is used to ask about the time of day. The word a queen questions is basically the same as the second method of forming chintang questions. You would use e, the glottal i glottal, to join the a queen phrase and the event phrase. A queen questions use uch, but not i. The uch isn't required, but it is usually used. Generally, uch is used in a question expecting a more specific answer. The word a queen has the root word queen, which means how much or how many. Many speakers pronounce a queen as hut queen. Both pronunciations are correct. And for new, we've got new words also. Um, oh, we'll go over that in a little bit. But let's listen to our models. What time do you know? Uh, queen, which he has. A uh, queen, which he has. And then other without the ooch? A uh, queen, he has. A uh, queen, he has. What time are you going to go? A uh, queen, which the and what time did you go? New vocabulary words are kiatsu. Kiatsu. And wa. Wa. And we'll listen to our Kwanawi also. Yeah, 